has it been so long since you've been out to Victoria? The honest truth uh, is probably more exciting than Joel Plaskett's answer <laughs> that he gave you for why he comes too often out west. Mm. Um, no, you know what? The truth is I am hard to pin down. Uh, I decided to, I literally woke up one day and I said, I want to tour in other parts of the world. So I've been um, working on um, touring in Ireland, which is a lovely country overseas, some of you may have heard of. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, I've also been working on my new album that came out last year and I've been busy, what can I say? So why did you choose Ireland? I noticed that you did some Irish cover songs and you've released an album in Ireland. Why did you choose that country to really focus on? Well, I didn't actually intend for it to be so, for me to be so obsessed with the country. It's just that I have Irish family and I wanted to do the album of Irish cover songs. And it ended up being very, it, I guess that it made a bit more of an impact than if I were to just release my own record there. Like a lot of journalists and uh, people on the radio took no notice of it. So, and then I just found out that I love the country and the people so I couldn't stop coming back and it's kind of become like a creative homeland. So it's not like you haven't been very busy but I heard you haven't been listening to music at all. What you've been forcing yourself to uh, not allowing yourself to listen to any music. What's up with that? That's not entirely true but <laughs> you've been cheating I've and lying. Been torturing myself. Um, I'm actually about to start a new record in LA uh, with a producer named Greg Wells and I mean, I'm kind of a sponge, like when I went on the David Bowie tour and I sang with him, I came back and I wrote all these songs that sounded like a 25-year-old girl who had been on the road with David Bowie. <laughs> so I have to be really careful sometimes, like if I really get into something, it just sticks to me and I start um, writing a lot like that. And he kind of advised maybe just turn off the music and just write what you want to write. And it was kind of good advice, but then it got lonely, so I started listening to music again. from the new record what is something that you're really focusing on and hoping to get across when you go in the studio um, that's a good question I think that it's been a, a long time since I kind of you know captured something really live on record and that's a really hard thing for me to do so I'm looking forward to working with someone who might be able to help with that might be able to help if he doesn't help I'll get all my money back well, besides recording music and touring, you've also been hosting a radio show. What's? I'm just trying to be you, is all I'm trying to say. Um, I was asked by CBC to co-host a radio show with Danny Michelle, who's another great singer-songwriter. And uh, we did the pilot. It was the most work we've ever done in our lives because we're lazy musicians. But it was really great like just to sit there and write and think about music and be in the CBC building and just kind of trade ideas. There were some tears on Danny's part, but uh, you can't hold it against him. What was the show about? Like, what was the basis of the show? It's called Under the Covers. I didn't name it. And uh, it's about cover songs, because Danny's put out a, a record of Bowie songs, which I guess gives him license to know what a cover song is all about. And I've done two covers albums, so mm, a lot serious professionals in the cover department <laughs> too professional yeah so but is, are they going to pick it up is it going to go to air or you just did the pilot we um aired the pilot in may and apparently we're going to do the rest of the segments in the fall we're just both really busy so. i was going to say are you going to have time yeah. to do that yeah so i'm looking forward to it it should be fun You've been to the island before and you've got a couple shows on the island, so but you haven't been here for a while, so I'm gonna be take it easy on you. We have uh, one piece of island trivia for you. 
Okay, what is the name of the highway overpass that you have to take to go from here to Duncan? No comment. Oh no, what is it? Answer, the Malahat. Oh God. I guess it's not highway overpass. What would it be called? Just the highway, the mountain pass. I have to say that I was on that twice yesterday. Which is why I asked you. I thought maybe you would have soaked it up sponge-like as you are. Just, I was taken in the sights. Who can blame you? Beautiful Victoria. Bull Max, big trees, hooligans, <laughs> and the Malhat. Thanks, Em. See ya.